Oh, fuck. Where do I start? <sighs> what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are finally back home, back in the shop. Our flight got delayed out of Cancun. That's where Bobby and I were for the last two weeks-ish. It got delayed by a few days because we were stuck in a hurricane for a while, but we are back home, and we are gonna figure out what happened with the Evo 10. While Bobby and I were in Mexico, Jared was taking a few of the cars out of the shop and taking photos and whatnot, and there happened to be an engine fire on the Evo 10. So now we're gonna figure out what happened, what caused the engine fire. Let me kind of show you guys what's going on. So this is where the fire started, and thankfully Jared was able to get it out right away, but there was an electrical issue right down in there, and it looks like the wire is going to the coil packs and also runs back to the cam sensor back there and maybe a few other little things as well. So basically what we're gonna do, well, this is the way I see it. This is the way I see an electrical issue. And I'm not an electrical genius, but if you have an electrical fire, I think the only way to really have that is a bad, like some sort of grounding issue. So we're gonna just pull off the coil cover right now. We're gonna see if anything weird is going on with the coil packs and then maybe pull apart the harness take a look at the grounds on the car and really try to diagnose and figure out what the hell is going on with this thing. Thankfully, Jared was able to get it out because that's the only damage we have. We have the melted harness right there. We have a burnt hood right there, which that honestly just wipes right off. So big shout out to Jared. Thanks for not burning the car all the way down <laughs> Dude, just a was, little bit. She was spreading for a minute there. <laughs> yeah, that's actually, it's crazy because I was in Cancun. Just got out of the shower and he freaking calls me like, bruh, we gotta have a talk. So I'm thankful that we didn't lose the car. It could have been a very bad situation, but thankfully it wasn't. Let's pull off this coil cover and see what's going on. So curious to see if anything's obvious. Do, 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 do. Oh, that'll do it. Easy as that. Wow. Huh. Okay. Well, does that does that, does that cure your anxiety that yes. you didn't cause the problem? Yes. Holy shit. That is insane. <sighs> How did that even happen? So exactly what I thought, bad grounding issue. This coil grounds to the valve cover right there, so it was just jumping around nonstop. Okay, that's not fixable. <laughs> that's completely melted. Wow. That's sketchy. When's the last time I had these coils out? It's a while ago. Jeez. Well, that's crazy we never had like really bad misfire issues. Crazy that it didn't already catch on fire. Doing like some fatty pulls. Dude, ripping on it the other day or for the video. Yeah. Look at that connector. Oh, she's toast. She's gone. I don't know if it's worth trying to fix this harness. I wouldn't fix it myself just because I don't have those connections and stuff here. So it's either, they don't make new OEM harnesses anymore. I already looked that up. So it's either we replace the entire harness with another used OEM harness or we bring it to a local shop, Raven Fab, who's an electrical genius and have him try to repair this harness for us. I'm just happy we figured it out. I'm glad it's something obvious. Truly, I was really curious to see what it was going to be. I kind of figured it was going to be that. It just goes to show, dude, like the smallest thing can literally just, you lose your entire car over it. Oh, Is one it... bolt fell out and that's it. Where's the fuel line? That is this? Yeah, this braided line right here. Dude, that's so sketchy. It still smells all burned. Wow. Well, I'm glad we figured it out. I'm glad we didn't lose the car. And I'm glad that I'm dumb. I clearly didn't tighten my bolt. Bro, I'm glad it's not my fault. <laughs> yeah, of course that happens when you're driving it. Of course. Dude, that's how it goes. It always goes Do you know how many way. times you drove this car with it probably like that? Dude, that gives me chills, thinking about how many times you could have burned your fucking car down. Ah, oh, that's insane. I'm so freaking happy. Like I already said, that we figured out the issue and that the car didn't burn down. That could have been a bad situation, especially when Jared's driving it, because if the car burned down, we would never know. We would never know what happened. So I've been looking for used engine harness. It looks like GSR and MR are different, and I can't not find an engine harness. I think the next best option would be to fix it. So I'm gonna contact a few local shops here and see if anyone wants to tackle that project, because it's only one wire that is melted, and then the connector. So if they have a connector, then they should be able to fix the harness. Look at my rock hard protein bar. Work on the truck. Oh, look at my pinky, bro. The new nail's coming in. Look at that little thing. I'm so cute. It doesn't hurt at all either, which is nice. We just pulling off your car. 
Push my Biden coil too, that one's probably melted. Yeah, probably. So the only thing we can do right now is cut apart the harness. I'm gonna see how far back the harness is messed up. And if it's just like a little bit, I'll fix it myself or I'll try to fix it myself. But if it's too much to where I don't feel comfortable fixing it, then I'll have someone else do it. <laughs> Dropping everything. Oh, the coil is fine. Easy. Yeah, it's not melted at all. I ain't gonna replace a perfect coil. Okay, that's easily fixable by me. One inch of wire, okay? Cool. Yeah, I must've got it like right when it started. <sighs> yeah. Well, that's good news. It's only melted like, or burnt maybe about an inch out of the connector. So I'm gonna try to find a connector online. Where'd my phone go? I did find some on eBay. We're gonna take a little break from the Evo 10. I got to figure out what we're gonna do there. In the meantime, we're gonna do some stuff on the truck. So I still need to torque down the lower control arm bolts. <laughs> a little sketchy, I know. Apparently I'm good at leaving bolts loose right now. So torque those down and then we have the torsion bar. Ordered up some new GM torsion bar bolts because these ones are a little shipped out. So we're gonna get these in the truck and get the front end sitting where it should. So we gotta kinda set the height actually. Let's do truck stuff for a little bit. How high do we want the front all the way up? Yeah, I have no idea how much all the way up is. So looking at the little instruction guide for the truck right now, we can go 29 inches, which is five inches of height, five inches higher than stock, all the way up to eight inches higher than stock. This is way higher. Yeah, it is. Be squat and California stance boy coming soon. See him in 2021, what we get? I mean, it does still have to settle. It's gonna settle when we drive it. 31 and a half. Right now it says we're seven and a half inches higher than stock. Not bad. Well, let's go drive it, get it settled. Here's what we're gonna do. I know the truck has to settle a little bit, so we're not gonna really mess with the height until I know it's settled down. Hold up. He says he might have one. You could bring a coil and we could try it. It's very close. We'll get it on the way. So we're going to torque down the lower control arms, go drive the truck, and then come back and set the front height. And then from there, we can bring the truck in and get it aligned. If you guys watched the last episode that we uploaded, you would have seen that we bought new wheels for the truck, but I ended up ordering the wrong lug pattern. So we did order new wheels. One wheel showed up about a week ago. Another wheel came a few days later. So we have two wheels and two wheels are currently lost in FedEx. So I don't know where those are at, but as soon as you get the new wheels in the, for the truck, all four, we can get the new wheels on. She looks good. You gonna clear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. Dude, this whole is fucked. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> That's tight. All right, we're gonna go for a quick rip in the truck. I tried to get the alignment a little bit closer, but it's honestly still way off, so I'm not gonna drive it too far, but I just wanna get it settled down so we can set the height so we can actually get the truck aligned when we head up back up to the tire shop to get the tires mounted on the new wheels. Yeah. 
<laughs> this is so far off. I just want to do a burnout. Look at this. Go off roading. <laughs> Count me in. Whoa. All right, we went on a little drive, got it settled down. Now let's see what she's measuring at. I feel like it's pretty level. 31, 31 and a half. Ooh, we can go half inch higher in the front. So there's this package that we've been waiting on for a very, very long time and it's showing up today. I'm not gonna show you guys what it is. Just know that it's a giant crate or a giant pellet. It's exciting. Full of cool, cool stuff. Dude, they're the FRS wheels. No way. Yeah, I used to live out on Perry. Oh, I was not expecting these. I'm all confused right now. Huh? Huh? Dude. Lucky day. I'm so curious to see these. What? Is that it? That's it. Cool. That's the last thing. What was that? Nimala. Nimala, yep. Have a good one. Thanks, Thank you, you too. What? They're all in there? There's a two. Five. I was expecting something completely different. <laughs> and spitting everywhere. I don't. We're not gonna. We can't show the vlog, bro. We can't show okay. them today. Oh, fuck. Let's just open it a little Would bit. Would this tease them and then cl cut the clip? Can I get tires today? Like in Spokane? Wait, I might have tires up here. We just opened the wheels. They're insane. You guys saw the brand of the wheel. I don't want to show you guys the actual wheels because I had no clue they were showing up today. So I'll show you guys in a different video. But the problem that we're having now is I didn't, I, we've been waiting on these wheels for a month, very, very long time, a few months now. I had no clue they were showing up because I don't have tires. I think I might have like fronts up there. I'm going to try to find tires today in Spokane so we can get these cars on, so we can get the tires and wheels on the car. <laughs> Those are fatties. These are 285s, I think we're I couldn't find tires. I have rears up there, so 285 30s is I think we're gonna what we're gonna run on the rear. I want 255 35s at the front, and I don't have any here. I'm gonna try to find some later today. So let's get back to work on the truck. That's so crazy how it lifts the entire front end of the truck. How's that one bolt not to strip out? We got the truck sitting good. 31 and a half inches from the center of the wheel to the fender. As of right now, it may settle a little bit more. Probably will on the way to get this thing aligned. Hopefully, hopefully it's completely settled by the time we get it aligned though. Okay, we're gonna head out right now. We're gonna go try to find that coil plug. Wait, do I even tell any time? Raven Fab, a local shop here, local may have a plug-in for our Evo 10 coil. So we're gonna go check it out, see what they got. And hopefully they do. We can get this car back up on the road today too. Let's do the French vanilla. The French vanilla? You yes, want please. it iced? Yes, please. What's iced for you? Uh, medium. All right, is that everything for you? <laughs> yeah, that'll be it. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, that's fine, thank you. All right, 1259 has the first one, I think. For everything I ordered, they didn't have. <laughs> we don't have that. <laughs> we, don't, we don't carry that, we don't have that. We got white chocolate, we don't have that. <laughs> yeah, that no trapper, Diet Coke. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, don't know. Yeah. All right, we headed out. We went to Raven Fab and they didn't have a coil. Oh, a little plug. I'm just kidding. They had one. <laughs> Scam DJ. Oh, you fuck. So, sweet. We can get the Evo 10 back and running today. Back up on the road and ripping. Why'd you tell me they didn't have one? <laughs> I just wanted to scam you. I don't know if this is like, I don't know the proper way to actually like fix this. I obviously would just be to refix the entire harness. But all I'm gonna do is cut this down obviously to like an inch, cut that off, and I'm just gonna splice it in. I think it'll work. I don't know why I would mess with anything. So yeah, I'm super, super stoked. Shall we see if she runs? Here goes nothing boys. We got her all buttoned up. We got the coil actually bolted down, torqued down to the proper spec.
That was way too easy because. Are you gonna leave your burn mark? Fuck yeah, I'm leaving the burn mark. Leave it. You wiped it off a little already. I know. I can never pressure wash this engine bay now. Today's lesson: Don't be stupid. Double check your work, double check your bolts. Very honest mistake, I know exactly when it happened. The car was having issues starting because I had the AFR gauge out of this car and Jared's car when you were tuning Jared's car. Flex fuel gauge was disconnected which had the sensor disconnected. So it threw off all the readings in the ECU. So I pulled the plugs out to see if they're fouled, put them back in, obviously didn't tighten the bolt. Wait. It did what it did. Bro, so it comes back to me my fault anyway. It is your <laughs> fault. I needed to borrow your gauge. Damn it, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm thankful, I'm happy, I'm blessed that I didn't burn my car down, and we're back on the road. Let's put it together and maybe go do a little rip. 100% complete, fix. Can't really even tell, except for our items that we're gonna leave on there, our battle scars. He is bumping. Evo's back up, Evo's running, we're good to go. I'm I'm happy. That's about all I gotta say. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out. See you tomorrow. Ah!